Hi everyone, Th this is T Tech Shop News, and my name is DJ, and I'm here with a very special guest named Kyla, and she's going to be demonstrating a few things about the um, that what we have done so far in the 3D class. So, are you having a good day? Yeah. So let's get started. Um, what's the name of your program that you're using? The name of the program that we're using for 3D is called Tinkercad. Um, what's the view cube on the Tinkercad? The view cube on the Tinkercad program is um, like it lets you go make lets you go to any like view you want. Like you want the bottom view, the right view, the front view, like the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's the fit in uh, fit view to? The fit, the fit to all view is like it lets you zoom in to either object or the objects. But if you like, if more than one object, to click on the object. Okay. Um. So, what's the um home view? The home view takes you to your original view. Like zoom in, then like zoom out. Like it takes you to the original view. Okay. So um, what what what's the plus and the minus sign for uh, on the um, take your cap. The plus um, sign it lets you zoom in how mm -hmm. like how much you want and like the minus lets you zoom out. Okay. Um. What 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 can we do with our mouse? Like, is what's pan? Pan. Uh. All you do for it is you shift and click the right button on the mouse. Like it lets you move your grid anywhere. So you have to click the shift button, right? Yeah. And what's orbit? Or bit when you just click the right button on the mouse and like, it lets you move as well. Yeah, so you have to click the right button. If you click the left button, it's just going to do something else, like the box or something. And um, what's how can we zoom in and zoom out um, with our mouse? The real button, like to zoom in, you just do it like forward, and like to zoom out, you do it backwards. Yeah, that's, that's easier than pressing the button a few times to get a zoom in. Yeah, that was easier. So, what's the X Y Y Z um um thing? So the X let if you click your object, the X let, lets your object go side to side, and then the Y lets your object go. When you click it, it lets it go um backwards and forwards, and the Z lets your object go up. It click the little cone and it goes up. It has to drag it a little bit, and then to click it back down, you push D. Okay, um, well, there was a project that you guys had to do. Well, um, it's the find all the games. Yeah. Um, can you show us that? Yeah. So, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, what did you have to do for the, um, the find all games? For this game, all you had to do was um, you use like your zoom in, zoom out, and like your panning, like you have to go to the bottom and stuff, and then you like find the op the objects that are in hidden between the be hidden within these objects, like these objects. Oh, so can you demonstrate for us how to do that? Yeah, let's say I wanted to go on like this um, tree, then I click it and I click this fit to view. Button and like it zooms in, like I can even zoom in more to see what's in it. And like if I want to go on top, then I go on top to see. Okay. Oh, I see the dolphin. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, um, can you demonstrate one last time for us? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go home view. So I click on my object. I'm gonna do a different object. I'm gonna do this little thing. Click it. I'm gonna click fit to view. Mm -hmm. And it's in zoom in, and I'm just in zoom in even more. I'm gonna go on the top, on top, 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 and like I could try to find objects. I didn't find one, but okay. So did you find all of the objects? No, I c I found a couple because for me like it was kind of too hard. So yeah, it was fun but hard. Yeah, it was fun but hard. And the basic of this um game was um. Um, that Marco wanted us to use all the buttons on a mouse and the other buttons. It's the the view cube, the zoom in and zoom out, the home, the fit to view. So he just wanted to y do that. So 
what's um you guys did us another project right um can you show us what you had to do so for this project we had a map of the united states and we need to try to um like create it and we can't have like no gaps like oh no overlaps so yeah so so basically you had to like use the cone and um there was something called the precise increments uh how do you do that so all you do is so you like, get like whatever object you want click and then you click like this little thing right here mm -hmm. and then you do like any one you want i'm gonna do the five and then you can use your arrows to move it oh uh, so it's like moving slowly if you guys can see it uh what was uh, what's the hop the hop um all the hop does is like you click that little thing and like you click your object and like, it could go of how much millimeters you want it and it go move slowly or like so, fast however you want so it's it. the arrows right yeah so what's what's um what does the d button do the d button so the D button do, does is when you, like with that cone, when you do Z, when you go up, you click the D button. So I'm going to go up. Okay, so you click the D button to so go back down. Yeah, so that's easier than moving it all the way down. So I think that was about it. Um, thanks for joining us, Kyla. Uh, and um, um, the other people that are out there, can you please come to Marco and um, tell him if you want to join for the 3D class? And I think that's about it. So thank you, KFE, for watching. I hope you, you, ha you enjoyed the video.